All right, this video is to show you how to get a dual camera feed like this, where we've got uh, two different cameras running, so we can show two different angles. We've got our camera over to the right and our camera over to the left here, um, so that we can see uh, what's going on. All right, so let me come over here, and I'm just going to turn this towards me so you can see me. All right, and so the way that we uh, can do a dual camera setup like this, um, and I could even have it uh, be two different scenes where I've got... Uh, maybe one scene here and I've got someone on my keyboard so they can switch back and forth between the cameras by just clicking uh, here. Um, the way we do it is we use a software called uh, OBS. Uh, you can download it for free at obsproject.com. And when you open up the software, it's going to have a, a blank uh, thing like this. And I'm just going to delete, um, I'm going to delete all these scenes here uh, so I can show you how to make them. All right, delete that one and delete that one. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new scene. Okay, so I'm going to click the plus icon here to create a scene with both cameras. So I'm going to call it both cams. All right, and now what I need to do is I need to come in here and I need to add uh, my audio input capture, um, which I'm just going to call mic. All right, and so the microphone I'm using is my headset right now. So I'm going to pick my headset microphone. And now that you can see is showing up here and uh, we're getting good audio from it. And now I want to add my webcams. So I'm going to add video capture device by clicking again, plus icon down here. Add video capture device, and I'm going to call this camera right. Camera right. Okay. And this is going to be my this Logitech camera I have running. And I want to set uh, this particular camera to 1920 by 1080. Uh, just my preference. Okay. And so now uh, you can see that's recording. Now I need to add my other camera. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add another video capture device. I'm going to call this camera left. Camera left. All right. And now I want to set that to my other uh, Logitech cam. All right. And I'm also going to set that one to 1920 by 1080. All right. And uh, so now we've got both cameras running here in the same scene. And so now I need to just put them where I want. And uh, I actually want to crop this. So I'm going to hold the Alt key while dragging this over to crop it. Okay, and now this one, um, I'm gonna crop to center. So uh, maybe let me crop this side in and I'm gonna crop the other side in. All right, and I can bring that over here. And now we've got both of them running. So now I can just take this camera and point it down uh, where I want it. And maybe I say, let's, if I wanted to move this camera around, you know, I can tilt the tripod and I can put these wherever I want. I could even have three, four or five cameras, however I wanted to do it. Um, and, uh, and so now if I can just hit start recording here and it will record both cameras simultaneously. And because I'm wearing a wireless, uh, headset, I can move wherever I want and I should always get a really good audio pickup. So I could have a wireless lavalier mic into my computer or however I wanted to capture, um, decent audio. All right. So, uh, the other really cool thing that you can do is you can actually use this output as a webcam if you wanted to. So say you want to do a zoom meeting and use this dual camera setup live. Uh, and instead of just recording a video to do asynchronously, you could actually do this live. And the way you would do that is you would come into your, uh, and, and install this plugin. So it's called OBS virtual cam. So you would download that and install that plugin. And once you do that, uh, you'll see under tools here, this virtual cam shows up and you can click start or I have mine auto start. And then, uh, it will show up as a camera source when you're in a meeting. So say I want to do a zoom meeting. So I'm just going to click host a meeting here um, with my video. I'm going to wait for this to boot up, open zoom. All right, just waiting for it to open up here. Okay, and so now uh, here's my zoom meeting and you can see in the uh, video sources down here, it shows both of my regular cameras, but if I click, I have this other option now for OBS camera. So if I click OBS camera, it will show what's streaming out of my OBS. So as long as OBS is running and I'm on the scene I want, uh, I can click that camera and it will run. So uh, so that's very helpful. So if I'm in a live meeting, I can I can do that. All right. If you have any questions, let me know.